Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a developer support engineer with Stackify. I'll be covering working with filters and fields for errors and logs. In Retrace, we have fields that reflect what types of messages are flowing into your dashboard. To the right, you have a fields panel that has categories and subcategories of different parameters you can choose to detail in your logs. If you click on the Chevron icon, you can expose the deeper fields from their parent containers. If applicable, you can select fields from the panel to appear in the dashboard, and you can choose to filter them by selecting the blue funnel to open the filter screen as I did here. In Retrace, by the search query box is your filter bar, which can show applied fields from the fields panel. The active fields are in green, and you can dig into them to pick the number of filter values you'd like to apply. In this case, we only had one filter value. We also have a handy reset button. One more helpful thing to know when considering filters and fields is that you can save your searches. A saved search applies all previously set filters and fields. Anyway, I hope that helped give you a feel for using Retrace's tools for logging and errors. Thank you for viewing.